In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the Pure Maths Paper 3, specifically Paper 3.1 from Cambridge A-Level exams from 2024. If you're looking for any other question from this paper, you should find a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for any other paper, look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But of course, this is in the classroom, we're on YouTube, so go ahead and take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, watch at 2x speed, whatever you find useful. If you find any of my videos useful, uh, I would appreciate like, subscribe, or sharing it with someone else doing the A-level exams. In question three, they give us this graph here of natural log x by y. Uh, very important to notice that's not x here. And then they also give us an equation, a to the power of y is equal to bx. Uh, two unknowns there, a and b. And they, they give us some points here of this. They tell us this is a straight line, that's important as well. And basically they ask us to solve a and b. Now I can see at least two ways to do this question. I, I will show you both of them, I have time to show you both. But th the first way I'm gonna show you is the way I would do it, and it's the way I think the examiner wants you to do it. Uh, the second way, I, I don't think it's easier or it's, I don't think it's harder really either, but I do think lots of students rather the second way. Some students just hate dealing with lines and visualizing. Some students are good at visualizing, some students are good at just the maths. So I will, I'll try and show you both ways. So how do you do this? Um, I guess uh, the way I'm first going to show you, there's also two ways to do, do that. Uh, this is a straight line. So let's start with the drawing actually. Let, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the drawing and then I'll work with this in a moment, sort of in two different parts. Uh, the other way to do it is just the other way around. Uh, uh, whereas the second, uh, the second real way is a whole different. Okay, sorry, let me start that again. And uh, let's look at this picture. They told us this is a straight line. Um, and remember the axis is, in, it's not X, it's natural log X and it's, it's y in this case. So what does a straight line in this world look like? A straight line looks like this, y equals m, I'll leave x for a moment, plus c. Not a, there's not an x here, there's a natural log x. Okay, that's one thing. You're, you're getting a mark for that probably, by the way. That's it, this line will look like this. And we can actually find out the equation this time, because we have numbers. Like, uh, yeah, let's, let's do the work here. Um, let's find out m. Um, I'll cheat and just take some of the answers there. Uh, m is just the slope, that's y2 minus y1. Uh, let's write that in there. Uh, 1.5 minus one divided by 1.31 minus 0 0.336. Put that into a calculator and it'll give you an answer. Uh, oh, here it is here. It's give me 250 divided by 487. That's, that's what m is. Um, I can then use this again and go y is equal to, now m, 250 over 487 times natural log x plus c. But I can find out what c is because I know what y and natural log x are. I have two, two examples of both of them. So I'll, I'll just uh, fill them in. Instead of y, I'll put one in. Um, equals 250 over 487 times, uh, instead of natural log x, I'll put 0. Point, sorry, 0. 0.336 uh, plus c. Uh, rearrange this, we get c is equal to 1 minus this, and uh, I put that in on a calculator, and I have c is equal to 403 divided by 487. Once you, once you clean all that up. Uh, so we have an equation, oh let me write it out one last time over here. Y is equal to 250 over 487 natural log X plus 403 over 487. Okay, so I have the equation of this line here. How does that help me get A and B? <coughs> That's where I have to do a bit of work on this guy here. Now, again, I could have done this work first. In fact, in my notes, uh, I actually did this work first. Doesn't make a difference. Um, this looks absolutely nothing like this right now. But if I wanted, because 
I know I want something that looks like y equals because it's a straight line. I know that's why I, I started off with this. I knew I didn't want it to look like this. I wanted it to look like y equals. And that's not that hard to do. You can, uh, you can get y equals here by just taking a natural log of both sides or any log for that matter. I'll go ahead and use natural log. Natural log of ay on the left is equal to natural log of bx on the right. And we can use some rules for logs. Uh, one of the rules says this y can multiply out front. Y natural log a. Another rule for logs says these can just be added. Uh, natural log b plus natural log x. Um, I didn't leave quite enough room there, unfortunately. Um, I can divide both sides by natural log a to get y is equal to, uh, let's put this one first. So natural log x divided by natural log a, or how about one over natural log a, natural log x. Uh, let's just square it off here. Natural log a divided by here as natural log b divided by natural log a. Okay, just by playing around with this equation, I got this one here. These are the same. I've just played around with both of them. And then working with this line, I got this equation here. Let's, let's look at them both together. Y equals, Y equals, something times natural log X, something times natural log X. Let's put a bracket around natural log X. Something times both of them, plus something, plus something. I can now just equate out uh, some of these to get answers. Uh, let me clear off something. I'll leave, let me clear off this top co corner here and I should be able to fit the answer in. I always have bad planning, sorry about that. So we have this equation, and this equation. I got this one just by playing around with this. I got this one over here by knowing this was a line. So if we put these together, it's quite clear to see that this number out front, 250 divided by 487, the slope is equal to this number, one over natural log A. I could just rearrange this and solve for A. Uh, let's see, uh, that, that just becomes, oh, I haven't left myself enough room again. That becomes natural log A is equal to, bring that over, bring everything over, 487 divided by 250, and that will equal, oh sorry, I don't want to equal it yet, I want A. A is equal to E to the power of 487 over 250, and that's equal to, let's see, 7, 0.0146, they want the nearest integer, so it's just seven, close enough to seven. Do the same with uh, natural log uh, b, or this one here, let's say. Uh, natural log b divided by natural log a. Remember, we know what natural log a is. Here's the number right here. And that equals this number down here, 403 over 487. Yeah, I'll fill it, I'll fill it in down here. And remember, we know natural log, let's uh, rub that out and put it in over here, natural log A. So that becomes, instead of natural log A, we'll put this in, let's rub it out again. 487 divided by 250. And look, that's convenient enough because they cancel. So we're left with B is equal to E to the power of 403 divided by 250, which is equal to uh, 5.012. I think that's an eight I wrote. Again, they want the nearest integer, so that's uh, close enough to five. So that's how you answer this question, that how at least I answered this question. I will, I'll clean this off and just show you the start of how, another way to do it. Because I think some students would rather a different way and if you tried it, it's probably help you to see how it's done. So another way to do this question is take this equation and just fill in some numbers we know. Like for example, we know y equals one and when y equals one, so we know y equals one at a certain point, and at that point, we know, we nearly know what x equals. We know what natural log of x equals. And from that, we can quite easily find out what x equals. So what I mean is, there's a certain point where y equals one. At that point, natural log of x equals 0 0.336. Yeah, that's what that, this tells us up here. But I don't care about natural log x. This equation doesn't have a natural log x. I wanna know what x is. So x is equal e to the power of 0 
six. I, you can put that in a calculator if you want, just make sure you take enough decimal places. I'll, I'll just leave it like this for now. It's gonna be easy enough to work with, in fact. So now that we know what an X and Y is, uh, we can fill these in. And then uh, we would get, let's see, A to the power of one is just A equals B multiplied by E to the power of 0 0.336. And that's an equation. We do the same thing with these two. We'd end up with A to the power of 1.5. The same theory, by the way. I'll, I'll just be able to do it straight away, though. A to the power of 1.5 multiplied by B uh, multiplied by E to the power of 1.31. Now that we have these two equations, have a look at it. There's only two unknowns. This is actually just a simultaneous equation, just with some complicated numbers in it. In fact, we can just have, we have a equals. Let's just put a into this. Might not be the cleanest way. We could probably divide the two be so, um, on top of each other and get rid of the b's like that, and that might be better. But I'll just put a in. That might be a simple enough way. Uh, so instead of a, I'll put b e to the power of zero point three three six all to the power of one point five is equal to b e to the one point three one. From here, we can just start cleaning it up with some power rules. Uh, 1.5 goes into both of these. That's B, 1.5, and E, uh, 1.5 multiplied by uh, this. Uh, I'm not sure if I have that in my notes. Um, for now, we'll just wrote, write it as 336, 1.5 multiplied by that, equals to, on the right, B, E to the power of 1.31. And um, we only have B. Let's just get the Bs together. Divide both sides by B. That divides into this, um, because it's zero, b to the power of 0 0.5 will be left. So it's just uh, one and a half b's take away a b, left with a half of a b. And uh, divide that over here, we left b to the power of 0 0.5 is equal e to the 1.31 over e to the, oh I did, I did multiply this out, e to the 0 0.504, um, these just take away. This one minus that one is e to the power of 0 0.8. I think it says 06 here, double check my work. Um, just square both sides. We'd be left with b is equal, squaring this is just multiplying by two, e to the power of uh, 1.612, so that, that was a six. That's b, b is equal to, oh, I already did this in the previous part, didn't I? B was equal to 5.01, or close enough to five. Um, and again, for A, I just fill it back in, find A. I won't do it again, you'll get seven once again. Okay, that's two ways to do question three. I hope that helped. If I made any mistakes or you have any follow-up questions, let me know, I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching, have a good day.